get lots of scaling to work on SteamOS, you're going to have to go to desktop mode first. First thing you're going to do is go to your Steam store and download lossless scaling. Next, you're going to go to GitHub slash pancake TAS slash LSFG dash VK. Um, and all you're going to do is scroll to the bottom here and right here where it says curl dash SSF HTV pancake. You're going to go ahead and copy that. Once you copy it, you're, then you're going to open up your console and you're going to control shift V to paste it. Press enter. You're going to pick Arch Linux one because we are a Steam OS. Hit enter, hit Y, enter, and that's it. That's all you have to do. I'll have the link and actually I'll just have this um, script right in the description below. So you don't even have to click the link. After that, return to game mode. And once you're back in your Steam OS, you're gonna go to manage properties and general. And in the very bottom, you're gonna type in launch options, enable dash LSFG. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I'll have it in the description below. And basically what this is, it tells you um, what the multiplier is. Um, you can go from two to four, I believe. And then you adjust your flow scale, flow scale. Basically, the higher the flow scale, the more of your GPU you use, the lower the flow scale, the less of your GPU you use. So you get better performance, but worse image. Um, but if you go higher in number, you get a higher image quality but less performance so hopefully that makes sense for you guys and that's it that's how you do it now let's test it this is cyberpunk steam deck preset native resolution and we get about 42 frames in game here with no ls on and now with loss of scaling on on the right hand side we see quite a bit of a jump we more than 10 frame jump but one thing I want you to take a look at is look at the bottom left of each screen where it says FPS in blue. One says 30 and the other says 50. And you can see that it says 30 because we're frame genning 30 frames on the right hand side versus pure rasterization on the left hand side. Now on the far right we have no LS frame gen on native. And you can see that it is a worse performance frame gen native than it is without frame gen. And with lossless in the middle, we do get the best performance out of them all. I'm not checking for video quality. I'm just looking at raw FPS here. And you can see that with lossless scaling on, you just get a better overall FPS. Enough with the benchmarks, we're going to test it here. Loss of scaling on on Hell Divers 2. With LS on, it is a way play more playable experience here in Hell Divers 2. This is a level 5 level. You can see the frame generation in the crosshairs a little bit. Um, we are on the Steam Deck preset with quality FSR. I do not like to use. Uh, balance even though it gives a bit, way better performance because it's so blurry it's really hard to see what's going on um there is quite a bit of latency i will say with uh, ls on i think it's definitely one of those things where it's it's worth it in a lot of ways still but just because this game runs so poorly on the steam deck um with it's uh without frame generation that I, th I think you just you'd have to play like this and you can really feel the in the input lag definitely 100 percent. but we are keeping well above 30 frames which is uh not common in this game on a steam deck uh and it is not a blurry mess Whoa. all right we got a big big ass explosion and um we did even drop below 30. So that's that's really good because usually we would drop in the mid twenties at that point, um, and we're getting some heavy comment. The front, the input lag is, the latency is, is is very much there, and I'm also on a capture card too, so that's probably not helping. Um, so yeah, let's take that for what it is. 
I would suggest you give this a shot. Um, but for the most part, it does make it a much more playable experience in Helldivers 2 on the Steam Deck. Um, it, it will, the input lag will, you know, take some getting used to. Um, and unfortunately, we can't really adjust it too much. Uh, and if we do need to adjust it, we have to go back into, we have to exit the game. And we got to go into uh, pri uh, prior, uh, then we, and we have to go back to general just to, just to edit loss of scale. And that's why I, I really like the implementation on Windows versus this implementation. But then again, you got to remember, like, it, it is what it is, you know, like, it's great to have it. And luckily, we ha you have that option. And if you so choose to use it on the Steam Deck, you're just that's something you have to deal with. Um, just like if you want to use it on Windows, which I think it's easier to use lossless than Windows, you have to deal with Windows. So take it for what it is. I, I definitely think it's worthwhile on certain titles. And that lossless scaling on Steam OS, yes, is it a little clunky? Do I think the Windows implementation is better? Yes, but remember you gotta use Windows on the Steam Deck, which is not great at all as experience compared to Steam OS. So pick your poison. And one more thing before I let you guys go, if you have any game that has any type of launch options, from what I can tell and from my testing, if you try to put LS on, it will break the launch options. For example, Moonlight has launch options, and if you try to use LS and Moonlight at the same time, it will not work. So if you wanna use Moonlight with LS native on the Steam Deck, you'll have to do it in Windows, just like in my prior video. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.